Today we are going to create a simple illustration by drawing some clouds and the sun using only Lightroom app. First I will go to light menu and increase the shadows and blacks. Also reduce the contrast. Trying here to reduce contrast for the overall image. Now to the masking filters where we are gonna create the main art. I'm gonna first start with the foreground. To select it, I'm gonna use select sky which automatically gives good results especially as this image is quite clear. Tapping on the mask and choosing invert mask to invert the selection. Now the foreground is selected. Here I'm gonna make it dark by reducing exposure, also the blacks. Also in the effects menu, texture, clarity and dehaze. I'm gonna get some details back from this later. Now for the second filter, selecting the sky again, this time we'll be working on this. Again reducing texture, clarity and dehaze to make this area smoother and remove whatever details are present. I need to create sun here exactly in the middle. Selecting the radial filter now. Making a big circle here. Trying to get as close to perfect circle as possible as I have to do it manually on mobile. On desktop you can shift drag to create a perfect circle. Also making sure the feather is set to 100 and also inverting the mask. Now edits only affect the outer parts of the mask, reducing the exposure. Because of this you can see some sort of light coming out at the center. I'm gonna create one more radial filter, a bit smaller one compared to the previous. We'll keep the feather at 100. Increasing the exposure for more brightness. In the color menu, dragging the hues till I get orangish tones which gives us a nice color effect here. Now to create a sharp detailed sun, I'm gonna zoom in and add a radial filter again, this time a smaller one. And decrease the feather to zero to get sharp edges. Now we'll increase the exposure. Adding more orange stones here. You can notice the radial filter affecting the foreground too. To get this part hidden, I'm gonna tap plus or minus button and choose subtract from the mask. Here we'll choose the sky as I cannot select the foreground from here. You can see now the selection is only on the foreground. But by inverting it by tapping this button, you can get this sun behind the mountains effect. Adding more saturation too. Here's the before and after. Next we are gonna create clouds. I'm gonna zoom in towards here. We'll create a circle with the radial filter. We'll increase the exposure to make it more bright.
long tap on it and duplicate to create more similar ones. We'll move them and place them overlapping with each other like this. You can resize them too. Create some more to get those clouds. This already look nice. But I'm gonna make the bottom flat. To do that, tapping the plus or minus and subtract from this selection and choosing linear gradient filter. Dragging from bottom which subtracts the selection to get this effect. To get sharp edges, trying here to get all the three lines to a single one. Here is the result. You can move it anywhere you want. Also we'll duplicate this and move it towards right. Going into the filter, I'm gonna move the individual circles to make the shape of this cloud different from the other. As we already have the subtracted linear filter, the line remains there. Now I'm gonna add one linear filter at the bottom to make the foreground a little bit different. We'll recover details here and change the hues to get some sort of brownish colors. This is just a personal preference. You can skip this step if you want it to remain black. And the final look here. Hope you found some useful tips here and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.